Mercer County's entire population is just north of 42,000, so said the U.S. Census Bureau. These parts might be best known for the rich, fertile farmland and Grand Lake St. Mary's. But here, surrounded mostly by open fields, runs this single lane gravel road. Nestled in the trees about a half mile back, sit the very real, harsh, unpleasant realities of life. Homelessness is a, uh, has been a problem in Mercer County that most folks have denied, said it's not. About 10 years ago, Pastor Brochure and Abounding Grace Church opened up their 30 acres to people who had no other place to go. A lot of folks lived out here in tents, and so finally we come to the point of saying, you know, we've got to do something. So That something happened in 2015. God just said very clearly, uh, you need to build some cabins. A year later, it added another and another, and now there are 11. Our cabins are always full. I get phone calls on us every day. Each cabin the same size, a simple light outside by the door, along with dark shutters and light brown siding. Inside, there's a bed, bathroom, and a small kitchen and heat. There's no cost here. When folks come, they're coming from a place of extreme poverty. They, they're, they're on the street. They may be bouncing from couch to couch. There is so much need, Pastor Brochure said he could easily fill another dozen cabins if they had them. I had a boy call me yesterday and told me that he is actually living under a bridge and we're trying to figure out something for him. Rough estimate, Hand Up has helped easily 250 people. Our oldest person that we've ever had here is 92. And the youngest, a baby born in early January. Mom is only 20 years old. It's hard to see people hurting and not do anything about it if you truly care about people. He said none of this would be possible without the daily, weekly, and monthly support from the Mercer County community. Here is how Hand Up Village works. It does not charge its guests anything, but while offering a hand up, there are expectations. Get them a job. While they're living here, they have to deposit at least 50% of what they make into a hand up savings account that they cannot touch until they leave here for the purpose of renting a place, paying uh, deposits for utilities and those kind of things. And people know from the beginning, this is entirely faith-based. I was thirsty and you give me a drink. And they must go to any church of their choosing anywhere in Mercer County. I was a stranger and you invited me into your home. Hand Up Village said each person's situation is unique, and each person's average stay here is about six months. I'd like to say that every person that comes here is a success story. That'd be a huge lie. Not everybody that comes changes. Not everybody that comes wants a hand up. A lot of folks want a hand out. But overall, there are more stories of success. And they're so excited to see the smiles on their faces. And, and they say, we've never, ever had this much money in our entire lives. And to see that confidence is a wonderful thing. And as Pastor Brochure looked back on the last seven years, he called all of this a huge blessing for all involved. Regrets? No. I just wish we'd have done a little bit sooner. It, this is really making a difference. It's really helping people. In Mercer County, James Brown, New Center 7.